band started uh, with um, us lot as just a group of mates in school in Utopston, Thompson Lane High School. And basically we just, uh, we had a different vocalist at the time, but we just got together as a group of mates just to play a show because we had like literally three or four songs together. Um, and we had a female lead vocalist, she was fantastic and just didn't work out for, you know, just didn't work out um, with her. And uh, basically uh, we just played, we signed on to this little kind of pub back garden thing um, to play that and just to play a few songs for um, the singer's uncle just as like, you know, a family favour or something like that. And we didn't have a name for the collective of kind of musicians that we were. We didn't have a band name, we weren't a band or anything like that. But So we signed on to the bill, they asked us if we had a name, we should just put Anonymous down, um, you know, because we don't actually have a name, we are Anonymous and it kind of stuck. So that's, that's how the band started and uh, Went through, we went through two uh, different lead vocalists after deciding um, that I was, I was going to front the band. And that's how it started with this kind of era, with me, um, me as the front man. Um, actually, that's not true. I didn't, I didn't know the drummer um, well at all, actually, because... Um, I lie, actually. We started um, that gig um, with a different drummer, um, and uh, our current drummer replaced him, um, and he did a fantastic job, to be fair. He filled the shoes really, really well, and uh, yeah, that's the, that's the only actually an instrumental lineup change that we've ever had, and we've stuck with that since. So, uh, yeah, I, I knew all the others, always really close friends with the others. And, Last night we um, played at the Battle of the Bands at the Wolverhampton Slave Room and we got through to the first two heats and we won uh, last night and we were so chuffed that we were up against four of the bands on the bill. We had 20 minute sets each so it was cramming as much showmanship, musicianship, uh, charisma as much as you could into that 20 minutes and, and we just we just went on stage with the mentality we've got to smash it, we've got to give it our best. If we don't win, well, we're just making an impression as best we can. We don't care if we win or not, but we just, when we got the name called out that we'd won, we were freaking out. We didn't know what to do because we did not expect it at all. It was, it was magic, really. It was fantastic. Feels like I'm drowning in a glass of empty and so full of my own doubts. This is a really hard question, actually. The, the bands that influenced us um, with our writing, this is a really difficult question because we all like so many different things. Um, Hayden and Luke, for example, they're really big into the Led Zeppelin, the classic rock, Cream, Hendrix, that kind of thing, and that's a really big influence on all of their stuff. Um, drummer Herbie, uh, very much into his new metal, uh, Incubus, In Me, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, personally, I, I, will, I will listen to more or less anything, um, but. Uh, Influence-wise, um, I'd be kind of a bit of modern metal, a bit of kind of classic rock. But the, the kind of the, the, the joining points for all of our influences as a band and all of our writing influences would be Guns N' Roses as a definite. That's a staple. Uh, Blackstone Cherry, Shine Down, uh, AC/DC, even um, just classic rock giants, the greats, with little bits of, of, of modern metal, new metal, just thrown in there, little influences, hints of things. As individual. shadows in your mind, they gonna, they gonna get you, get you. Favorite song to perform in the set that we've written ourselves, or that we've written our, or cover. Well, I'm, no cover and uh, and one of our own. The favorite, my favorite song to play as one of our own is um, a song that we've written called "What You Deserve." And because the riff is so, it's so funky and it's so kind of, um, it's chunky and it's got a real kind of groove to it and you can just, 
it, every single person who's given, given us feedback on that song just says it just makes them want to get bipping and bapping, really. That's how they describe it. <laughs> get kind of nod, nod your head to it, jump to it, move to it. That's, that's what you want to do. That was actually one of the main things that we emphasised last night with the Battle of the Vans. Um, we got everyone jumping to that song and that, I think that really helped us out. So that's, that's my favourite song. And the favourite cover to play is probably going to be our cover of uh, ZZ Top's um, Just Got Paid. That's also a very good question. Bands that hope to perform in the future. Um, honestly, I just anyone, anyone big enough to be kind of a, a, a mainstream rock band, like a, not mainstream, but up there as, as a known, well-known rock band, just anyone really, will play wherever. We're the kind of band that, that if, you, if you got, if you want to book us for a gig two days in advance and we can all do it, we'll just, yeah, just chuck the gear in a couple of cars and we'll, we'll, just, we'll just go down. So we, we will, we will play with anyone, we will, we will respect anyone's music, we love everyone's music. We, we just want to do as best we can and we just want to play music. So honestly, just any band that is up there, we'll put what we want to play with. They're gonna get you, get you, they're gonna get you, get you, tell them we'll get you too. Upcoming albums and EPs, we have plans um, to record an EP, which I can't tell too much about. Uh, <laughs> Top secret and all, mainly because I don't know that much about it, but still. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we are planning to record a, um, hopefully, a four or five track EP. Uh, we aimed for four last time, but because of time restric restrictions, we were cut down to three, but that meant that the three were of greater quality than if we'd have rushed and did four. So I was happy with that. And honestly, if we just put out another EP and get some more music out there, we'd be happy. So, yeah, we just, just can't tell you too much about that, but it's coming up. Those shadows in your mind, they're gonna They're gonna catch you, catch you Tell them I'll catch you too um, Particularly big ones uh, We have um, a slot supporting uh, quite a well-known band from Wolverhampton uh, The same place that we played this battle of the bands last night uh, The Slade Room is quite a big venue um, on the whole and uh, we're supporting a band called Slam Cartel and uh, so that's just, um, <laughs> it's going to be a really good gig, that's quite a big gig for us. So it's our first kind of official, one of our first ticketed events with a support slot, so really happy about that. Overjoyed when we come through, quite big. Thanks very much. Good luck.